First up, Josh, why York? <laughs> um, so it's it's been one of those things, like I've looked at it for a number of years, sort of coming overseas, just for a new challenge, a bit of a new experience. Um, and I had a couple of mates um, that spoke really highly of the club and um, Clint gave me the hard sell, mm. said it was a really good area and they're, they're sort of planning things for the future. And yeah, it was just, I had a look and there's a lot of history at the club. Um, there's a lot of history in the town. So it's something I really looked at and yeah. Is it, do you look at somebody like uh, Brendan O'Hagan who spent a couple of years at the club yep. and done really well and kind of left the mark? Do, do you look at that and think, I, I can do that as well? Oh, absolutely. Um, obviously, Brendan came over and um, had that tough stint during COVID, but what he did for the town and the club, you know, obviously, I'd love to replicate that. And um, um, you, you can see in his departure, you know, a, a lot of people have um, obviously appreciated all, of, all that he's done. So, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Um, you were signed when James Ford was still coach? Yes, he, yeah. He was straight out the door. Yeah. Don't take it personally. No, nah, um, no, nah, it's all good. <laughs> but, um, what's it been like to link up with Andrew Henderson and see what he's got planned? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, Hendo is so organised, he's happy to chat and he's happy to work through anything that you need help with. Um, obviously, I come over a little bit later um, and all through Christmas and all through the pre-season, he was chatting to me, he was leaving me videos, all those sorts of things. Just making sure I was on top of not only my own fitness and skill, but you know, on top of what they were doing over here. Um, so he's been really good for the club. He's been really good for me. Obviously, being a hooker himself, it's we sort of see eye to eye on you know games and um, how we want to play. So yeah, I'm really excited for this year. It's going to be good competition for places as well, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, there's been guys that have been there for a number of years, and um, I can't speak any higher um, of all the boys because they've honestly made it super easy for me to come in. Um, and just feel welcomed and you know, just play my natural game. So, and What is your natural game? What will York fans come to expect of, of you inside? Um, I like being a consistent threat from dummy half, like attacking wise, but then also being um, someone in the middle of the ruck, obviously, that's you know, going to consistently hold up um, the middle and not, not letting anyone through sort of thing. Um, you know, I'm a bit of a smaller body, so people do tend to target me, but Proving that you can defend in the middle and being consistent through there is something that I've sort of prided my game on. And then, yeah, being just a dynamic dynamic attacking threat through the middle, so. Looks like a good group of players as well. Really good, They're yeah. They're to settle in. Yeah, really good group of blokes. Um, they've just all made it, yeah, like I said, just so smooth, easy transition. Because um, obviously it's hard moving your whole life on the other side of the world. Um, I knew some of the boys, obviously, from growing up and things like that, but all the other boys that I didn't already know, they, you know, go out of their way to sort of make me feel welcomed and um, make sure that I know everything that's going on. If I don't, they just help me out. So it's been really good. And the target has to be to be among those big names in the league again this season. Absolutely. Yeah, considering what they did last season, um, I obviously watched all the things that they did. And, you know, obviously we want to go two games better this year, but, um, you know, to where they got last year was a really good um, start. So we'll try to build off that, that stepping stone.